There is no point in arguing, once again describing the advantages of this car. They are obvious. A full-fledged frame SUV with a relatively comfortable cabin, a reliable economical diesel engine, and, moreover, with Japanese roots. The L200 is good off-road, but it doesn't have a complex on asphalt either. Relizia exemplary holds the road and accelerates almost like a real passenger car. The fourth generation of the pickup appeared with us in 2006. Officially, only one version was delivered with a double cab, two types of all-wheel drive transmission and the only 2.5-liter turbo diesel with a common rail direct injection system of two boost levels, with a capacity of 136 and 178 horsepower. Diesel pickup got a good one. We did not find any statistics on the failure of the injection pump and injectors. Owner forums are silent on this matter. In general, they are silent about engine failures, which is even surprising, since the age of the first cars and the mileage are already fair. Two accumulators and electric heating of the filter make it easier to start the engine in winter. In terms of reliability, a five-speed mechanics is unlikely to give odds to a four-band automatic. The last one is extremely simple. Here it is impossible to manually change gears, not to mention the lack of adaptive capabilities. Razdaki are of two types, a multi-mode super select with a reduction gear and the ability to lock the differential, and an easy select without this differential with the hardwired all-wheel drive. They are also called part-time. By the way, here, too, there is nothing special to cling to. It happens that the transfer case control lever wedges, but a softer handling of it, as a rule, removes questions. When buying, it is worth remembering that the L200 with a manual gearbox and a Rizdaka Super Select was sold in only one of the trim levels. So, most likely, you will get second-hand on the handle with a slightly less functional part-time system. Another reason to bargain. Suspension does not cause problems. Front independent on double wishbones, spring, rear axle and springs. When buying a car, it is not superfluous to inquire about the carrying capacity. Usually it is 800 kilograms, but reinforced springs allow you to load a ton into the body. This is important, since abuse of even 100 kilograms when swinging off-road can lead to a burst spring, which is already expensive if you order the original and not make it from suitable UAZ sheets. The body will not cause any fundamental complications either. Sturdy and resists corrosion well. It happens that some owners note dents in places where the cabin is in contact with the body but this is probably the result of careless driving, although the reliability of fastening the body to the frame in such cases is worth checking. There are no obvious flaws in the cabin. Overall, it's pretty fun inside. Plastic is sonorous and easily soiled, but it is easy to wash. Do not look for luxury here, although everything you need is there. And the rear sofa, compared with competitors, is close to the ideal possible in this case. The only obvious weak point here is the driver's seat. No. It suits many, but most owners are unhappy with the geometry of its attachment. It is set too low and at the same time horizontal. And in order to achieve at least some comfortable fit, you have to make spacers under its front mounts. Or order a new chair from the side. Otherwise, the legs are numb. So how much is the L200 a bargain today? The exchange rate, of course, messed up here too. Prices in the secondary market change too quickly to catch a trend. However, this car fits into the category of fathers. It does not include unexpected and costly breakdowns. Always on the go, she is able to transport a refrigerator or take an uprooted stump from the site into the forest. But most importantly, you will always get good and honest money for the L200. These cars age slowly. And yet, despite such obvious advantages, think a hundred times before buying an L200 if you have not yet come up with a real job for this pickup truck. In the city, Moving around on it is not sugar. Suspension. Each MOT will have to inject not only the crosses of the drive shaft and steering arm, but also the ball bearings. This significantly extends their service life. In frost, it happens that the plastic bushings of the torsion bars burst, which is reported by squeaks from under the bottom. Bushings are not expensive at all. Transmission. Transmission complaints are rare. It happens that the front axle at the command of the driver refuses to connect. There is no need to worry and look for the culprit for a long time. The so-called vacuum clutch has probably failed. This is usually due to mechanical damage when driving off-road, if there is no additional underbody protection. Steering. The most popular sore of the L200 is a knock in the steering column. 
If it is not there, it means that the column was already replaced by the previous owner under warranty as part of a revocable company. If he does appear, there is nothing to worry about either. No facts were recorded when this defect led to disastrous consequences. Pros and cons. Plus low price. High and well predictable resale margin. Excellent permeability. All wheel drive transmission. Load capacity. Omnivorous indestructible suspension. Economical and reliable engine. Loyal to low fuel quality. Visibility and difficulty in finding and implementing parking in the city. Moderate dynamics. Baco body during sharp maneuvers. High cost of original spare parts. Excessive vibration load at idle.